Hey, what's going on people? Today I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to keep a full beard with no enhancements. I call this the Rick Ross beard. I first start off by picking out his beard. Preferably I use a pick, but you could also use a large tooth comb. I create my first guideline from the middle of the ears with my detailers. And then you take off the top layer away from the bottom layer. You will have to do the same thing on both sides to keep it nice and even. The second step is taking the fading clippers with a number two guard and going down with the grain at least an inch lower. And make sure you do the same thing on the other side to keep it even. With the number one guard on my fading clippers, I will go down the grain on both sides to take out the loose hairs. Then I break it down with a one and a half against the grain, followed by the number one to clean out the last line. Take your time in doing so, make sure it's really, really nice and even. Yet again, what you did on the left Make sure you do the same thing on the right. Now that we're done with the bulky blend, we're gonna concentrate and work on the tighter blend. Using the half, which is the lever down, we're gonna go up against the grain, at least half an inch high. Fluctuating with the zero and the half, we're gonna keep blending until that visible line is gone. Remember, you have to do the same routine on both sides. The detailers are the best in creating a line and in removing the line. So use the detailers on both sides to take out the last bit of line. With a small tooth comb, you wanna comb out the blend on both sides so that way you have better visibility for your next step. Now I focus and target the mustache. As you see, I use a number one guard on your fading clipper to go down with the grain to keep it thick. Don't go against it, it'll thin it out. Now let's work on the top lip line. This area is very, very sensitive, so you do want to take your time and be gentle with it. As you see, you have to keep it low, but not too high, because you want to keep it full. We also want to keep the side jawline very full, so we arch it on both sides. Now moving on to a very, very sensitive part of the beard, the bottom of the neck. With your detailers, consider being light-handed, because too much pressure can cause irritation to the skin. So keep in mind and be precise as you straighten out the bottom of his neck. And then right after that, you wanna go up against the grain as you take off the dirty hair around his neck. You also wanna be really, really gentle when you arch the top of his cheek on both sides. This is my favorite part. So go over the side jawline and go over the bottom neckline to make sure there are no extra dirty hairs that are sticking out. Also wrap his face around a hot towel for at least five minutes for a smoother and a better shape. When that five minutes is up, you want to blow dry his beard with medium heat and comb through his beard with a medium tooth comb. Take your time with this process as it needs to be fully dry for our next step. Now use your fading clippers on zero to remove the split ends that are sticking out. Okay, okay, stay with me now. Now we do the same thing on the other side, but be very, very gentle. You don't want to press too hard on it. Then you go up to the front end and you graze on those little hairs that stick out. With a dry razor shave, you want to lean him back a bit and have him puff out his cheek so you can take off the unwanted hair as it comes out better and gives him that 3D look. The next step is to go all around his line with the grain with the fresh blade. And make sure you tell your clients to put some air in their cheeks for a better and long lasting shave. To make sure there are no extra hairs that are laying around, I use my detailers to graze over and over the beard. I call these hairs the survivors. Dust them off after you're all said and done. Make sure you also spin them around so that way you can look at the work that you've done. Make sure if there's anything that you see, you wanna touch it up before you actually give him the mirror. Now, he hasn't looked in the mirror yet. He doesn't know what this is gonna look like. So you know, this is before, bam, and this is his after. And then after that, give him the mirror. Tell him to check it out. Bam, there you have it. Now, if you like what you see and what you've heard, Give this video a thumbs up and definitely share with your friends. Now, if you have anything else that you would like to see, please comment below and let me know. I'll be happy to give you guys more of my techniques. All right. Thanks for watching. Holla at your boy. Deuces.